So I'm back here with Nicole. I'm going to do another video. So the reason I'm making this video, Nicole, is I want to explain to you why I see a lot of value, like why me as a real estate owner, why I like crypto, and maybe this will convince you to like crypto. Um, so uh, let's just say I don't own this amount, but let's just say I own 10 properties, right? 10 real okay. estate, okay? Um, At any time. Real estate or across? What do you mean? Like, would it be like 10 different properties all in the same state? Same no, state? no. So I have a diversified portfolio. I don't own exactly 10, but I do own in California, Vegas, and Texas or Dallas, right? And um, let's just say I own all three of these properties. And like I said, I have 10. Here, I'll even give you random numbers. I own three in Dallas, one in Vegas, and six six in California, Okay. The issue I have, and like, and like, a, like I said, I'm pretty well off, right? I have all this real estate, I have all this equity, right, in my properties, right? And let's just say I don't have a lot of debt on my property. Let's just say I own uh, three million worth of property, but I only have a million dollars worth of loans. So I have like two million dollars of net worth in this real estate. Cool. You're following me? Yeah. So at any time, if someone sues me, or if the government for whatever reason finds me as an enemy of the state, or whatever they can immediately put a judgment onto my real estate it still takes a little while because you have to go to court you have to do all this legal legal proceeding but once they put a judgment on me i cannot sell that property like legally if you wanted to come buy my property you have to wait until this judgment is removed or you would buy the property at a discount with the judgment on there does, does that make sense yeah so this makes it really hard and by the way and if i needed that two million dollars i mean i guess i could go to like a hard money lender do you know what a hard money lender is? Uh, I don't no know. worries. Like, this is like really like nerdy, money, advanced yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of like beating you down with some pretty uh, higher level finance stuff. But like I said, you'll, you'll pick this up. But anyway, so hard money loan is oh, oh, you would go to someone else who will lend you money really quickly, but at a high interest rate. Kind of like not the mafia, right? Excuse me. It's kind of like the mafia, but it's a legalized mafia. So you can legally go to these people who, you know, they'll look at my real estate portfolio and they'll be like, okay, you have two million of equity. I'll lend you a million dollars, but I'm going to charge you like 12% interest. Where like if you go to a normal bank, they're going to only charge you like three or 4%. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's insane. And if I default on my loan, they'll foreclose and then take all the real estate because I use my real estate as collateral. Does, does that all make sense? Yeah. Okay, so, huh? What? I could go through that because no way in hell would I want to pay 12%. I mean, if I'm making, if I'm doing a real estate deal where I'm going to sell the property and make 20% or 25%, it makes sense. Yeah, I give up 12%, but I'm still making, let's say, another 12% of profit on my million dollars. That's, that's 120 grand. You know, yeah, I have to pay, you know, X amount of money and fees to the lender, but like, you see, see how it makes sense? Sometimes it's, it yeah. makes sense to use a hard money guide because you're making so much money on the deal. And here's the best part. You're not using any of your money. You're using this other guy's money to make the money. You don't learn any of this. Isn't this funny? You have like a business degree at SMU. And, then, and like I said, I have an MBA at USC. You know, I have a master's, which is supposed And you don't learn any of this in school. Like I learned a bunch of other bogus stuff. And I think you'll agree with me, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, honestly, not gonna lie, some of those classes I kind of do is often. <laughs> Were you watching your Spurs play on your laptop? <laughs> no, it's not my fault. The person in front of me was streaming online. <laughs> okay, so let's go back. So the reason why, and I guess now we're going to have to create a part two because this video went a little longer. So I'm going to go back. We'll make a, a part two on this video. So hold on. Let me just go ahead and stop this.